Hi guys, welcome to Work It, my little mini episode. So last week we were talking about fashion and my obsession with, or my past obsession with op shops and vintage shopping. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. This episode, we're going to go to an op shop. I'm going to style myself a little outfit. It's going to be good. Come with me. It's going to be good. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, where are we going, Erin? We are going to the op shop to put together a little fit, a little outfit, because this is what I used to do and I can still do it. So I'm gonna go test, I'm gonna go test that theory that I still have what it takes to put together a bit of an op shop vibe. A woman of her word. <laughs> what has been your favorite op shop find ever? Um, I have so many, uh, like usually, Back in the day, it was leather belts, like good leather belts, because they were like, anything that was real leather was always a find. And then as I got a bit older, it was like a natural, like silk, like natural fibers. Um, I have this amazing denim shirt that has horses on it. It's like, kind of like a Western shirt. That was a more recent one in the last year or so. That was cool. I haven't worn it yet though. Um, and what else, what else? I bought some vintage stuff recently. But yeah, anything natural, anytime you find like silk or like a leather belt or a leather shirt or a leather handbag, you're like, bang. What are your favorite op shops in Melbourne? Um, well, I don't, like I used to be big on the, like I like a big selection. So like a big Salvation Army, a big Savers, because there's a lot to kind of work with. And so often you go in, like I don't go in ever, need, I never went in ever needing anything specific. It was just to find something good. Um, so I still think Savers and Salvation Army's the big ones are really good. And then you can get into vintage, but always the markup in actual vintage stores is pretty insane because they've gone to the op shops to troll them to then resell them in their smaller boutiques. So I tend to do the op shop, which is more, you know, grassroots. So what look are you going to aim to put together for us today? Um, ooh, that is a really good question. I'm not too sure what the vibe will be. In my head, I'm hoping to find a good, like, midi or maxi skirt because I just feel like that would be something that older people will have given away or people will have given away because usually there's a lot of like nana pieces so I feel like a maxi or a midi skirt would be something and then I could like get a big size and belt it and then maybe like an oversized shirt situation that I could tuck in they're my pieces that I'm mainly looking at and then you know I'm a size 41 so shoes is going to be hard no matter what but we'll see and then maybe a blazer because that's my bread and butter in terms of what I find at the op shop. So that's kind of the vibe. A bit of, kind of a, a version of what I would wear now is what I'm looking for. All right, let's see how we go. We'll see you guys there. Let's do it. See you there. But we can always alter that. But we could alter that easily. Pencil skirt, that very old sewing grey, and a blazer. This is, we're trying this one. We found the holy grail, the blazer section. All right. My eye has first gone to this guy because it's got that beautiful sheen on it. A little bit different. The fit's probably not going to work though, but that is, that is actually so cute. Um, Sometimes when I come into these places, I get an idea of a colour in my mind and I think this has like really piqued my interest for like wanting grey. So now I'm sort of set on finding like a grey piece. This is okay. Again, I don't know if the fit's 100% but I do like that double pocket. Worth a try. Let's try it. You can see there it's got all that puckering on the fabrics. So it's not very good quality so probably not something I think I would wear. That's nice. Oh, that's good. What's underneath? It's a, it's a mat, it's a suit. It's mm. not the pants will work. Sometimes you have to buy the suit just to get the blazer. I used to do this, sometimes it, it works. So I'm, exci I'm excited about this. This is good. Oh, I'll try this one. Oh, nice. oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> these, are, these are 42. This is like the holy grail of a lot shop. Spoke too soon, you found the shoes first. <laughs> found the shoes first, guys. They're a winner. What brand are bucks. they? It doesn't say, which means it could be Manola, it could be Timmy Shoe, but it doesn't have a label, we don't know it. So this is good. They're, we got those, we're taking those. Yes. Also, something good to note is you want like an older brand that's like maybe something you don't know or like this is H&M so immediately I don't want it because mass produced. You want like something from the 80s, 90s, you know? Where to next? Let's go check the knits out, knitwear. Knitwear cardigan, sweater. Uh, yeah, that's you. You have dollars yet? Yeah, you might as well. Why not? Every little set's there. Almost vintage. Uh, 515 and 50. No, the different. Don't mind this. Going a bit of a case. Maybe a bit of a little way. So I can't pay for that. Probably a bit too broad. Maybe too big. This was Craig's brand before Triangle. So, part of me wants It's to an lose. omen. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. Good knit, to be honest. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. This is also quite good. I was actually looking for a V-neck sweater. Cashmere, though. This is wool. It has a little hole in the front, but let's try it. Okay, Erin, so you're in your glorious denim outfit. How do you go about op shopping denim? Jeans would be quite hard, I reckon. I would probably do jeans from a vintage shop where they've sourced them from an op shop and then they've curated them. In terms of shirts and jackets, you kind of just can go big. Um, big, oversized. Even for jeans, go oversized because it's better to go big and tailor things to fit you perfectly than it is to squeeze into small fits and they're just literally wonky and like it's from an op shop. And what about knitwear? Knitwear again, knitwear's probably the hardest thing to find at an op shop because you want natural fibres and the natural fibres are usually the ones that peel, they're the ones that probably age quickest. So knitwear is pretty challenging. It's really just about finding stuff that looks really good first and then seeing what blend it is because we want as much natural. Also sometimes I feel like when I op shop I can pick the vibe up. Like I'm not, it's going to be a good shop or a bad shop. It's like you can just tell. Usually in the first few minutes you find something great and then it kind of sets the tone for finding other greatness. But in the first five minutes you feel like everything's shit, you're probably going to have a bad session and you're not going to find anything good. And how's the Brunswick salvos going? This is kind of good. I mean you never know until you try things on. But I've got a few good options here. I'm very excited about this blazer suit situation, to be honest. This fabrication looks good. I think it's polyester though. That's okay. I feel like you can get away with it if the color's really good. All right, talk us through shirts. Let's usually scan them and see what jumps out. Um, so I used to be a big fan of like the check. But even at first glance, there's nothing flannel because you kind of like the flannel because it's got the weight and therefore it hangs really well. Aside from that, I'm just going to pick something that jumps out. I don't know what. If you could raid any wardrobe, whose wardrobe would you raid? Me? Um, that's a good question. Maybe like Dua Lipa, someone who wears like a party outfits. You should have lots of one offs or like Rihanna. We need belts because this skirt's going to be too big, so we need belts or scarves to like cinch it in to see if we can get the vibe right. This isn't bad. Leather. Oh. Always. Let's use that even just for props. Just to like try. Let's go try. I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. This is a Italian 100% wool men's suit. I mean, this could be Bottega, to be honest. In fact, I bought a suit from Bottega last week that's kind of similar. And now we're taking it back. And now we're taking it back to buy a, how much is this? $20 suit. Pants and blazer. And I don't know how much the shoes are, but probably not much. But look at them and they got little, so cute. So we've got the pop of colour. <laughs> Should we do look two? Oh, I'm pretty happy with look one. <laughs> I wasn't home. <laughs> Alright, so this is another wool suit. Females. This is a size 24. So 
<laughs> but it's wool, 100% wool, so kind of worth it to be honest. Anyway, we're going to see if this is any good. This is a very retro look at it, not this one's going to work. Probably not the. You probably want to take this in a lot, like the cinch it and make it more. But you could do these separate, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could, I'll, I'm definitely gonna wear this. I'm gonna get this tailored and wear this. And shoes? Anything. I mean, I'll put my green ones on again. The old sleeve roll. This is my absolute go to. Because this is so cute. Like, this detail is so cute. It just probably needs taking in and the size to like suit the waist. Definitely hate this skirt. Sold. I thought I would just try. This is a good. It's a bit itchy because it's wool, but it's wool. And that little can definitely catch that up. Easy. All right. I'm not paying this, it's crazy. It's too close to home. <laughs> I love the long sleeves though. Like a blazer over this, and then the sleeves coming out at the bottom is very, very good. Very Like, you know, you don't have to buy Acme Studios, you don't have to buy Bottega, you don't have to buy Balenciaga, you can literally come to your op shop, buy an oversized men's blazer, and this looks just as good. Like, I promise you, if I wore these down the street, people would ask where I could from. Salvation Army. <laughs> Still got it. Alright, Erin, what are we doing? Okay, so... 42, I mean, you know. Definitely get this is this was a suit. So I'm not sure about the blazer, but I'm gonna try. Definitely the skirt though, I am getting that tag that I love that. So, I love grey. I clearly came in with grey in my mind. A hundred percent this. So cute. Wool. This suit because I mean, it's just too good. I don't think I'll wear the pants, but that's okay. That's okay. This, this is this is it. And that's it. We're good to go. 